Hey everybody, it's Vic from Vic's Creative Corner. This evening, I'm going to be doing a video about game launchers as I've done before. And what we're going to do is come to our game folder. And as you can see, I've already set it up to where I can do all of my games. Doesn't matter if it's GOG.com or if it's Ubisoft or if it's Epic Games or Steam. All of these games are in one area for me, so that way I can come here if I want to play a multiplayer game, etc. I'm using my Stream Deck as a game launcher, so that I don't have to have these things here. What I'm going to show you, because Epic Games, or when you're doing Ubisoft, sometimes the icons don't appear here. But if you're like me and you want to see the icons so you know what game you're playing, we can go ahead and start this. So what I'm going to do is go to Properties. This one is from Epic Games. And what I'm going to do is drag the website system over here. We're going to paste it. As you notice, there's no picture icon, right? So what we're going to have to do is go to the actual game folder. And there's one thing I want to mention here before anything is icon viewer. I scoured the internet trying to find out where Epic keeps their icons. And it's okay if it doesn't have an icon, as long as you know what it is. But you can install Icon Viewer, and this comes in handy for what we're going to do next. Okay, so this is the EXE, right? If I come here, and I've already installed Icon Viewer, I come here, we're going to select Icons. And from here, we can select the 256 by 256. We're going to click on Save. And we're going to save it here, and I'm going to call this CT and Save. So the little icon should show up right here. Now what I'm going to do is set from file from my desktop and select the CT icon. And there, now we can do this. And you're going to see that it's going to launch the game from Epic Games. And we're going to actually see it with the icon here so we know what game we're playing. It might take a moment. This is the best way to do icons for those games that you can't find icons for. And I struggled with this because I didn't want to launch it from the exe file because sometimes the exe file wasn't working. By the way, this game is free on Epic Game Store until 3.3.22. All right, that's for Epic Games. So let's go ahead and do one for Ubisoft. We're gonna copy. I know for fact Assassin's Creed Valhalla doesn't have the icon transfer over when you copy the URL for it. You'll have to go all the way over here to where you install your game. And in my case, I installed this one on my C drive. It is under, I believe, Program Files, Ubisoft Games, Assassin's Creed. Here's the exe file. So same thing, we're gonna go to properties, we're gonna select icons, and we're gonna save this. Thought I clicked on the save icon. <laughs> there we go. And we're gonna call this ACV, short for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's gonna save on our desktop here very shortly. There we go. So here's my icon. And what we're gonna do is go to set from file, and then we're gonna select the icon. That way we get exactly what's matching with the icon. We can launch it and it's gonna launch Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It basically pulls up the Ubisoft launcher just with the URL. The reason why I do this from the shortcuts and copy the URL is because I only have to do this once. I can export my profile, save it in case I ever have to reconfigure Stream Deck and it has everything there for me with the icons. So I don't ever have to do it again. So as you can see, the game launched. We're gonna go ahead and close out of Assassin's Creed though. Which, by the way, I am really stoked for their new DLC coming out on March 10th. All right, so the next one we're going to talk about is EA. The EA Origins or um, Origin Gaming. We're going to copy right here. This one, I think, takes us directly to the EXE file. So in this one, since we see it as an EXE file, we know we need to go to open. So we can paste the path there. But you see how we have this? We don't like this. I mean, if you wanted to, you could drag and drop the, the shortcut, but I'm not gonna do that. What we're gonna do 
is we're going to go and locate the game where it was installed. And in this case, it's telling us that it's going to be under our program files. So I'm going to have to go to my C drive again, go to program files. And now we're going to look for electronic arts, EA games. That's where I saved it. There we go. It was under binaries. Sometimes you have to look for these exe files. It's the same thing. We're going to go to properties. We're going to select icons. And this is the fastest way to do this. And then we're going to call this the SWFO, which is Star Wars Fallen Order. Save it to the desktop. We're going to select OK. And now we can go from set from file. We can select the icon. We got us a nice little icon here. So we're going to launch it. And you're going to see that it's going to open up the, the beta program for Origin Gaming or EA Electronic Arts. And there you go. It's going to launch the game. The reason why I'm showing you this, I'm doing an updated version of the game launcher, is because I want you all to know how to do them for different ones. Now we're going to close out of it. Okay. So we've already done three different launchers, right? So the next one I'm going to do is going to be, oh yeah, we have Blizzard. I'm just going to copy the path because this is pretty much where you're going to see it. But in this case, this one's going to be a launcher. So it's going to ask you for the file path. This is where we're going to come. We can do this this way. Actually, we can come here, Diablo Resurrected, and it automatically does it for me. So Blizzard, you don't have to worry about. Blizzard will actually put the icon there. All right, so this one I know is going to also be another launcher. We can basically open up the path. It's basically taking us to the games. There's Diablo. It even has the icon here, but we're actually looking for the exe file. There we go. So you can do it this way, but if you, if you copy it, direct path, and you don't like the icon that it gives you, we can copy the path, right? And we can go to set from file, and we can just select it here and it'll update the icon that way. So there's quite a few ways around for the games that don't have an icon. You can use Icon Viewer and save it to your desktop and install it that way. Or you can go in and look and see if there's an icon. The last one we're gonna do is a Steam game. This is the Steam URL. So this one I know is gonna be a website. I'm gonna paste this here. But as I showed you, there's no icon for the Steam ones. So for Steam, we would basically go to Program Files 86 and look for Steam. And Steam is going to have it saved under Games. And then you're going to see the icon pack. And in this case, here's the Dragon Ball Z. And it'll update with the icon that way. Those are the platforms that I am aware of. Me personally, I like to have all of the icons here. And that is using this Stream Deck as a game launcher if you don't want the shortcuts to be on your actual desktop. And if you're like me, you don't like the clutter of the stuff on your desktop. So we can do this. We can now delete these. And uh, we have everything saved here. So for me, I'm going to come to my Stream Deck Excel. And then I'm going to export and save. If I, let's just say I wanted to delete my profile. Yes, I'm sure. I'm going to go ahead and import my profile, right? The reason why I'm showing you why it's important to export and save stream, stream deck. And I got to look for my stream deck Excel. And we're going to go back to games. And the icons are saved. That's why it is important to back up your files when you do this. That way, if you make a mistake or something, you're like, oh yeah, I saved a copy. I can just import this. Or if you did something new, like a brand new PC build or whatever, you would save that and you would basically bring it onto your new computer and it would all be stored there, which I love. So hopefully this has helped you in ways of wanting to customize your Stream Deck as a video game launcher. And uh, also that you get these nice little icons to show up with it. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate you. And I just wanted to let you all know that uh, this comes in very handy when you don't want anything on your screen here. But thanks again. Have a lovely evening and I will see you all next time.